What's up guys? It's Johnny Candido of Candido Training HQ. Here is a full leg workout video. Now of course we're going to start with squats, the most important leg exercise and exercise in general in my opinion. Now you see I actually started with 225 as my first set for this workout. Usually I do 135 and almost everyone does that. But I tried out just starting with 225 and it actually felt pretty good. Now keep in mind that this is because my max is in the 500 range. So if your max is 300 or so, definitely start with 135. Now here's my second set of 315. And honestly, at this point, it felt really good. I kept my sweatshirt on for a little bit, which I feel helps sometimes helps keep the bar nice and stable on the traps. There's less um, sliding. And here, here's actually arguably the hardest set because it's the set before the working set. It's the heaviest warm-up set, 375. So this is actually where a lot of people can end up injuring themselves doing a set where it's kind of in between a warm up and working set. And by the way, this whole workout I'm doing, the main focus is doing triples, so doing three reps. Um, when I'm doing full squats, full depth, I prefer doing three reps. When I'm doing just parallel, I prefer doing six rep sets. Here's 405 for a paused uh, squat rep. Now you can, you can see on my channel I have that uh, separately as a snippet to preview this video. Now here's when things kind of get more intense. After that paused rep, I started getting in the zone. And you can see I, I left this in to just to see how the mental focus has to really be there. Like, you can't just go under the bar and just do this just to do it. You have to really be focused and 100% of your energy has to be on getting this weight up. Now I actually felt really good here. Previous to this workout, um, the last workout I only did 415 times 3. So this is 420 up 5 pounds. And I thought this would be the last set of the day. But it actually felt really good. As you can see I got the last, um, last rep with a good amount of speed. So there's some left in the tank for sure. So that's what I did. I added 10 pounds and went at it for the hardest set of the day by far. And actually still felt pretty good though. You know, for a lot of these workouts, I like keeping a little bit left in the tank every now and then. I'd say, well, it depends on leg day. When I'm going to parallel, I like doing only three sets, three hard sets of six reps and I leave nothing left in the tank. When I'm doing full squats like this, and I'm switching now to doing full squats, I like doing a little bit more volume and not necessarily going to complete failure. Now here I'm doing um, just some stiff-legged deadlifts. Well, my legs aren't completely straight, but the whole, the whole focus for this is just to hit the hamstrings because your squats do work your overall, um, your whole lower body but your hamstrings aren't really emphasized. So here I'm just emphasizing just the hamstrings throughout this movement and really just trying to work them, work them explosively and also get some grip work in as well. As you can see, I have overhand grip. Um, so that does help build the forearms a little bit. But the whole goal here is really just to achieve a certain balance. So the weight doesn't really matter that much for me. As you can see, I'm just using 25s on that. I, I think this is around, somewhere around the low 300s here. But as I said, the weight here really isn't important. I'm not going heavy on this. This is just really an accessory movement. Now here, I'm getting ready. I'm going into doing um, front squats, but I decided just to power clean it up. Just kind of messing around here. No real set plan. Yeah, I think I, yeah, I jerk it here. Every now and then, I think it's important just to have a couple couple sets where you just kind of do whatever you want. Do whatever you feel like in the moment. I'd say have one main goal. My main goal was to have that heavy triple, heavy set of, of squats. And then everything from here on out is just really freestyling, just coming up with it as I go. Now here I'm using 225. Actually, my upper back um, was a little bit sore my upper like spine area 
was a little bit sore um, from a couple weeks ago. So I actually did not push the limit on these upper or on these uh, front squats. I just took them relatively easy. Um, let's see. I work my way up to 315 just for I only could do one rep. Just really playing it safe. Felt pretty comfortable. Um, I haven't maxed out in front squat. I think I could hit around 405 for maybe one rep. But I haven't really gone over 315, I don't think. I'm relatively new to front squats. And here I finish off this workout um, with some jump squats. And some people hate jump squats. Some people say it's super dangerous. I think as long as you use light weight, it really is not that. I mean, this is really lightweight for me. So if your max is around 300, I'd say don't use more than 135 um, in most cases. And, and it's really something you just have to feel out. Now at the end of this workout, you see I actually did some plyos. I actually really like doing this. I used to be a long jumper, so I really like incorporating jumps in, in, in certain stretches afterwards. I find actually it helps recovery as well. So it helps explosiveness and recovery doing it at the end of the workout. And then I finished off with biking. So that's it guys. The main points to remember are to be focused, to lift heavy, and quality is more important than quantity. If you go into the weight room and you just squat for 15 minutes and only have three really hard sets, honestly, that's a great workout right there. And it beats out spending an hour with machines any day. So please like the video to help our channel grow. Subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Bang, it's the same damn thing. The boys clubs are closing while they building P of Change. Look at your pinky ring, it's your soul's on.